Hello everybody and welcome to the start of Destroy All Humans Remastered on PS4. I love this game. With I'm not gonna I'm not gonna explain why I love it right now, I'll get into that when it's so I actually I already start I already tried to record this, the game audio was so loud. So I, I adjusted that and I turned up my commentary audio a bit, so hopefully it's good now. So uh without further ado, let's uh, jump right into a new game. And I already started this, but let's just uh, let's turn this one into uh, into a new game. I basically just did the first mission. That's as far as I got. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there? Hands extended in friendship awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Five. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait, stop the countdown. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some graniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Oh, don't mind me. I'm only a fiction. Okay, so let's just turn subtitles on, keep it in widescreen. Audio, we're gonna turn the music volume down halfway. Okay. Uh, that, that's every. 
that's everything. Okay. It still says it's on PS2, but I mean, it's PS4. Hanger. Jumping right into the first mission. I mean, you can see, like, it's remastered, but they, they kind of use, like, old cutscenes and stuff like that. Um, they definitely put more, um, what's the term, uh, detail into Crypto and his saucer and, you know, you know, like, the main characters. But overall, it, it is much better, uh, crisp. I used the word it's more crisp than um, than the original one on PS2. Ortho box to Crypto Sporidium One Three Seven. Come in, Crypto Sporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here. And you're down there, loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! Okay. You may look now and we're going aim by physically the manipulating the right analog stick. You can Our move about the stick. area using the left analog stick. Moo. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Scan this one. Yeah, I mean, definitely just looking at crypto himself, it, it's more uh, they polished eat with their mouths. Ah. I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creature. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. <coughs> At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? <coughs> Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We Furons awesome. have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis. Drown them in the Target river. Target an object or creature. Then hold, I quite hold like L1 they button. Smell then horrible. hurl the bovines by double tapping triangle button. Weaker. I like them. Using mental constant, using mental ability strains concentration. The concentration meter is at the top left of the screen. You have to wait for it to refill. Man, I love this game. It, it wasn't the um, the first game that I uh, in the series I played. I actually started off in the in the second game, and then I went back and I played this one. But uh, you know. Something about, you know, being the first game in that series, oh, Martha, it's, it's got a unique charm You didn't charm tell me we was having barbecue for dinner? Wait a minute, that ain't steak, that's... Holy mother of... Martha, give me the shotgun! Give me the shotgun. Attention, I, um, you do in fact have weapons. I've Just stated in a, in a previous, button. um... Try it now. Let's try that, that uh, farmer a taste of the old I can't hear game audio. But I, like, remember the voices of the characters and what they say to, like, to, like, a T, so I basically don't really need them when I play this game. Although, being able to hear the sound effects would be... Nice. Extract and collect the brainstem from the farmer. That's the whole brain, not just the brainstem. Not green. 
I would, I would pay top notch. I would pay top notch to see a talking horse. That'd be amazing. But I mean like, you know, not just a, a horse making sounds like he's talking, like an actual talking horse that you could converse with and like have like a full on sentence with. That would be a I'd pay top notch to talk to that boy. I like horses. They're not as smelly as a, as cows. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. What is that? A new silo? Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum! Oh, the furonity! Vaporize them, Crypto! Yeah, we get to kill some cops. I just, I mean, as the title of the game tells, you know, you're destroying all humans. Crypto, which, my radar which I like doing more in, in lots of games. Hurry to the saucer! I destroy humans. <laughs> it, 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 it's fun. It's a good stress reliever, in my opinion. Here we get your first saucer gameplay. I like the saucer. The saucer's cool. Use your left it analog looks stick to propel the saucer it forwards looks, um, and backwards. It looks a lot better. And a strafe like the colors. The colors in the game. Use the right analog stick. When I remember back to the um to the original, like I, I can tell, you know, they, they pop more. The colors pop. You know, this brighter hues and stuff. Everything like that. Forgive me if you feel like controller. Wrong. It's, it's it's going crazy. Let me, let me be quiet, just see if you can hear it. I don't know if, if it picked it up, but if it did, you know. And then I guess you heard Move it. Move up, man! <laughs> move, move, move! I don't know, but I've been told Joe McCarthy's good at Oh, great! The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! Let's take down the military. Now, it's not lit up, but you can see in the top uh, middle of the Look screen. Out. There are more to the north in the bushes. That, um, that pop up just told you about the uh, that there's an exclamation mark, and then there's the badge, and then the star, and then the M. That's the um. Think of it like a Grand Theft Auto wanted level. Uh, each each one it goes up like um when the question mark goes up that means like local towns people know of you they know about you and like farmers and stuff will come after you say um, then the second one the police one the police will come after you and then the star is the military and then the M stands for majestic which they're like uh, they're like the humans the, uh, are making a top of the organization Wipe them with, out uh, once and for all and stuff like that. You know, like like the men in black, sort of. Majestic. And that's basically it. And then, uh, it, it, I don't know why it's not showing it now. I believe it introduces it in the next area. But that's basically that. Speaking of Majestic. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? 
I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Mission complete. Cattle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. Um, in case you didn't tell, like, like the, the theme in this game is that, you know, you destroy all humans. But th this game takes place in the 50s. Somewhere early, mid-50s, I believe. And then the second game takes place in the 60s. And then the third game, um, which is the one that most people don't like to talk about, Big Willy Unleashed, it... it it's really confusing because it like points to taking place in the 70s but it's like but then it says that it's after uh path of Furon, which is technically the fourth game which takes place in like 75 76 but then it also points to being you know just before the 70s in like 69 or or seven or the early 70s 71 72 and it's just, it's really confusing. And I, I believe one of the biggest reasons why nobody ever talks about that game, uh, Big Willy Unleashed, is one, it, it came out on the Wii. Which, I mean, that was already a, a horrible mistake. Putting a Destroy All Humans game on the Wii. Secondly, it's confusing. It, like, you don't know when the game takes place. And it, it's just, the story isn't really, like, it's not really narratively based as good as um as the other three games or i mean like the other three games you get like it's an objective and the uh the game you know tells a story based off that like sole purpose of the, of the narrative and in the third game it's it's about it's about a freaking restaurant uh pox's restaurant which i mean it's just yeah, and then it's even point. then the narrative it like it strays off from the purpose of of the story and it's oh it's God. just it, it's it's so confusing you don't know what's going on half the time whereas in like all the other games the narrative is um especially in uh the first oh, two games the narr the narrative is pretty damn oh, good if you ask war. me um, the fourth game definitely had the strongest narrative experience, in my opinion, but at the same time, it wasn't as good as the first two. Like, it had a strong narrative, it was executed properly, but it wasn't as, um, what's the term I would use? Enthralling? Like, like, it didn't captivate you as much. Which I believe is, is the biggest mistake in, uh, in, uh, in the, in the fourth game. Which, I mean, people call it the third game. They call, which, which is technically the, the fourth game, the third game. Because in most people's minds, which, as I, I would like to say 90% of, uh, the people who, um, who back this franchise, uh, they don't... To them, uh, you know, Big Willy Unleashed, the third one, the, the one for Wii, uh, shouldn't have ever existed. Which, I mean, I can understand that. Personally, I, I found parts in the game that I that I personally actually really enjoyed. Um, like, they had they introduced, like, new guns and stuff like that, and it was, it was, it was fairly fun from that perspective. But, uh, at the same time, it, it, it should not have been on Wii. It should have been part of the normal series whereas i believe um it was it was a separate story it was it was like a separate series from the actual game and that's like one of the biggest mistakes i believe they ever made made i don't believe um the original creators though of of the destroy humans franchise really uh, had anything to do with it i believe they're just like eh, fine we'll give it to you you take it over you do what you want we're curious and then they just regretted it later now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. 
It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Looking on the uh, the capture, it's uh, it's a bit darker. But I, I can't really adjust the brightness in this game, I don't believe. Yeah, yeah. Can't. Um, and, and the blues kind of look a bit more purplish on the capture, but, but it's okay. It shouldn't, um, you know, derive from anything. Now, Pox's Lab is where you go to get upgrades and stuff like that. We currently can't get any right now. So let's just continue Roswell, on with the story and Rockwell. go to Rockwell. That's Earth women are delicious. I, I can vouch for that. <laughs> I I immediately regret saying that. So. Man, look at the mothership. It looks beautiful. Crypto! I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human, and lead it back to your ship for questioning. Get the picture? As humans become aware of crypto, of the chaos crypto is causing, icons will appear. And this is what I was talking about, the four icons on the top of the screen in, in the, the previous mission. And, you know, it's uh, this is where you can activate your hollow bob disguise by pointing at a human and uh, pressing circle. Some you can transform into a hollow bob. What in the but world did that mean? you can mean? see in the top left screen... It uses up concentration, so you have to scan people in order to what we get need back is your the concentration. Dumbest, weakest willed, most malleable. Personally, I don't like this mechanic find. in uh, this Admittedly, game. the competition. And, hang on a second. Fierce. Apologize for the. You just have to sound. scan them all. This human seems to be onto but, uh, something. Will wonders never cease. It just uh, <laughs> keep scanning the humans. A pop up came up and it completely exited out of uh, my capture. But we're we're still recording strong, so you know. Um, I like the, um, the disguise in the, um... Reminds me of that time I accidentally took... In the I second game, because whereas this one, you turn into, like, a hologram, a hollow bob, as it's called. Um, in the second one, you actually, like, go inside their body and, and, like, wear them as, like, a skin disguise, and I think yes, that's cool. Yes, yes! But, um, in the second one, there's no, um... Scan some more like this one has a meter that you can fill to stay disguised. In the second one, that doesn't happen. Like when they, um, when time runs out, the the, the host dies. All right, crypto. <laughs> I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. No, abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. <laughs> Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. I like um, the little conversations that Pox and Crypto have, whereas in this game, you know, it's um, 
it, it kind of forces Josh, you to watch it, Uncle and then you Stanley can kind sure of hear some like of himself this morning. crypto what and pops. What exactly did Dr. Kinsey um, mean Whereas in the second game, and the, um, was talking about Billy the, Bob. the fourth game, and I believe the rest of the games after this one, it, it becomes optional. Like, you can, um choose what you want to say or ask about and when you talk to Pox you can like completely go off the main subject of the main mission and talk about some like, like movies or something and yes I see that but you cannot collect it while you're in a, a hollow bob disguise because I know um although in the fourth game there, there's a uh, there's, de there's definitely Not more, you know, common huh? humor. There are people having sex in those cars? Well, I mean, probably. It's the la, 50s, la, right? La, 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 This game takes place in the 50s. Second game takes place in the 60s. Third game, you don't know when the hell it's taking place, because it, it jumps between, like, 79 to 69 to fucking 75. It just jumps all around. Um... The fourth uh, game takes place uh, in like 75, 76. What's that happening? Oh God! Please, no! Oh, oh, it's, it's I believe this game takes place in uh, 56 or it's 59. Yeah, right there, that's the spot. I think 58, 58 or 59. Because I know so vocal, so responsive. The, um, the second game takes place good. like. Never like, fails. Three or four years after the um, after the events of this game, and that's in the sixties. The early sixties. The authorities so. are on their way. Get in your saucer. You know, the swinging sixties, where free love and drug addled lives. You know, hippies. <laughs> Crypto! That human is aware of your presence. See, we're already up to the more people uh, to become aware of it, the more chance of those human police and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Which, this is a I mean, just look at it. You know, like today, like you go to a, you go to a fair and they, they got like a mile wide uh, like lot sanctioned out for it, and there are booths everywhere and drives and you know, like, Huge roller coaster ride. Ride. Just for a um, And I mean, it, it, there's something like, everywhere. Everywhere you turn, there's something. Whereas, I mean, given the fact that this game takes place in the 50s, and, you know, the way money was back then, and, you know, stuff like that, and time and stuff, this was considered fairly large, most likely. Why is this? I thought I destroyed it. Anyway, from now being 2016, you know, almost 2017, that's, uh, to me, that's considered a very small fair. Mission complete. Disaster at Rockwell Fair. Fairground left in tatters by Freak Storm. And that is a graphical bug, which I'm going to quickly get out of. <laughs> and when you're ready, return to the mothership for the next mission. And I am going to end this episode here, and I'll see you all next time.